in the smoky, magic-lit back alleys of the city, Cloak Dagrin, gnomish detective with a reputation as sharp as his name, stalked the shadows like a wraith on a mission. His trench coat billowed like midnight breeze as he navigated the labyrinthine streets, always one step ahead of trouble. With a fedora tipped low over his eyes and pipes embers smoldering in the corner of his mouth, he was the epitome of classic pulp noir in this fantastical world. One fateful night, however, a dame as enchanting as a sylph fluttered into Cloak's dimly lit office. Her eyes were the shade of emerald secrets, and her red lips held more than they revealed. Lila Nightshade was her name, and she spun a tale of deception and blackmail that set Cloak's blood boiling. Her plea was irresistible, like a honey-coated poison, and Cloak found himself knee-deep in a dangerous game. He knew the odds were stacked against him, but there was something about Lila that reeled him in, hook, line, and sinker. Together, they followed the trail of deceit that wound through the city's underbelly, leading them to a secluded cabin nestled in the heart of the haunted woods. Danger clung to the air like a suffocating mist, but Cloak was no stranger to the dark dance of danger. He had danced with death more times than he could count, and each time, he came out the victor. But even the sharpest detective could be blind to the truth, and as the cabin's creaking door swung open, Lila's true colors unfurled like a blood-soaked banner. Betrayal struck like a stiletto in the back, and Cloak Dagrin found himself left for dead in the shadows. With a wounded heart and a thirst for vengeance burning like a wildfire within him, Cloak's survival instincts kicked in. Alone, in the heart of the forbidding woods, he had to rely on wit and skill to stay one step ahead of death's cold embrace. It was during those long, dark nights in the woods that Cloak discovered a long-forgotten art, shadow magic. The shadows whispered secrets to him, and they became his loyal allies. Armed with a bow he crafted from the gnarled branches of ancient trees, Cloak Dagrin mastered the way of the shadow archer. Emerging from the woods with a cloak of darkness draped around him, Cloak Dagrin had shed his former self like a snake shedding its skin. He was no longer just a detective, he was a force to be reckoned with. The city dubbed him the Shadow Hunter, a name whispered in hushed tones in the back alleys, dive bars, and wizard towers. With each arrow that found its mark, justice rang out like an arcane surge in the night. Cloak Dagrin, the gnomish detective turned master of shadows, became an enigmatic guardian of the realm. He vowed to keep the city's streets clean, fighting to purge the darkness that had once ensnared him. Yet, despite his grim resolve, Cloak could never forget the allure of Lila Nightshade and the twisted dance they had shared. The wound of her betrayal remained etched in his heart, a constant reminder of the shadows that lurk even in the brightest of souls. Cloak Dagrin walked the tightrope between light and darkness, a master of shadows, a hunter of truth. In the pulsating heart of the city's nocturnal chaos, he stood as a symbol of justice, guided by his unwavering expectation to bring retribution to those who thought they could thrive in the shadows. For the legend of Cloak Dagrin, the Shadow Hunter, was written in the ink of secrets and redemption, and with every arrow that pierced the darkness, he etched his name upon the city's conscience, a reminder that justice would always find its mark, no matter how deep the darkness dared to descend.